All right, and with that, we should be live. So, welcome back to the Friday Challenge Run, where recently I have been attempting to complete the deal in the 2018 indie game, The Messenger. It borrows heavily after things like um, the original Ninja Gaiden game and uh, various Metroidvanias throughout the years. But the deal in this context is what it sounds like. It is a deal made with an NPC that basically forces you to complete the game without dying at all, or else you are sent straight back to the beginning of the game. Now, I've made it decently far on several occasions, but that does not necessarily mean that I'm good enough at this game to do that. So the idea is... Hopefully, after a few just runs of brute, of brute force, I should be able to accomplish this. Hopefully. On the bright side, it gives us New Game Plus equipment so that we have not only every upgrade from the shop, but also every mobility option, as well as, um... Uh... As well as increasing our total health and damage output to make combat significantly less threatening. However, the, then the real question is, will that be enough? I suppose we shall find out on today's installment of Don't Shoot, as in Don't Shoot the Messenger. With me here today, I have a glass of water, and uh, error is capturing my stream subject, apparently. Come on. Is it gonna... Nope. Oh, there it is. Took it long enough. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and get started then. For context, the furthest we've made it so far is to the underworld, where I unceremoniously died in a pit of lava. Which we are actually relatively close to, given the fact that the blue robes are going to do the thing, if you remember from the first playthrough. The one that actually took several episodes. So we're just going to be starting off today with a boss fight, because this is where I ended the stream last time. In case it's not obvious, the triple damage output offered by the deal is a huge boon when it comes to clearing boss fights quickly. However, that does not mean boss fights are the most uh, dangerous thing in this run. Hello, Reyes. How are you doing? Wave check, you say? I did get a haircut. Indeed. I decided it was getting too long. I, I, I typically have my hair shorter anyway, so I was like, you know what? We're, we're gonna cut it. After all, haircuts do tend to symbolize a new beginning, and I kind of need a new beginning if I'm going to finish this run. Thank you, I appreciate it, Reyes. How are you doing? You're awake. Good to hear. We love to see it. Yo, what's up, Lampman? How you doing? Mm. 
New internet, we love to see it. How's it going so far? Is it any good? Ow. Four times the speed. Now we're getting somewhere. No roundup. Nice. Got these blistering fast internet speeds. Does it mean I can finally get to co-star on legendary Twitch streamer Datboy Ray's Twitch streams again? Yeah! Nice. Finally, the king returns. He also got a new phone. We love to see it. How's that one holding up for you? My wallet didn't like to see it. Understandable. But you know what? Sometimes the hardest of choices require the strongest of wills. I'm not sure if you two are aware of the context of why this is a challenge run. If I die at all, the run ends and I have to start from the beginning. On the bright side, I am significantly more powerful. As for how well that will serve me, we shall find out. Sag indeed. But you know what? It's quite literally exactly what I signed up for. After all, there is the reason that uh, I mentioned this not being a big deal. Because it is a deal with an NPC in the game. I don't want to talk about that one. We're not going to talk about that one. <laughs> uh, it did not work out very well for me. Thank you very much for asking. See, obviously I just had to demonstrate that it's true. Bruh, indeed. My sense of timing is impeccable. On the bright side, being uh, triple the strength is significantly more effective for us than... Uh, you know what, we're, we're just going to start from the beginning again. This is how these things go. In theory, this run shouldn't take me very long to complete. The difficulty is actually completing it, as I'm sure you can imagine. If you at any point feel as though you're missing context for what is going on, feel free to watch the... the the VODs from my platformer playthrough to uh, The Messenger, because that is the game we are playing. In particular, the last episode outlines the premise of the deal. Bruh indeed, though. Bruh indeed. Yo, who's this guy? He is the Western hero. Context about him can be found in my, uh, in my, uh, VODs from the uh, initial run of the Messenger Stream series. Basically, the whole premise of the game is we're, we're this ninja from a village, right? He's like, all right, I don't, why can't he do it? Because there's a prophecy that we need to wait for the Western hero to deliver a scroll that we must deliver across the continent to fulfill our destiny. And naturally, being a prophecy, we have to be the ones to deliver it ourselves. As unfortunate that as that is. There is a reason, and it is explained in the, uh, in the actual game.
Anyways. I must ask, Lampman, are you a fan of Jim Carrey? This is indie, it's uh, 2018. But it's very heavily based on uh, older games. It borrows very heavily from them, I mean. Alright. This is The Mask, which apparently is a reference to the Jim Carrey movie, The Mask. So, this is the context for the deal. <laughs> Welcome to- hey, so what's- oh, go- sorry, go ahead. Makes sense. No, please, no you. I was just going- I was just curious what- There's too many people in this shop. <laughs> you were here first, messenger, so go ahead. I just want to understand what the deal is with this mask. The deal? What an ironic choice of words. I am indeed here to offer you a deal, available to New Game Plus adventures exclusively. Do come see me if you're interested to learn more about the deal. In the meantime, I'll be sharing the occasional joke for your entertainment. Hey, I'm in New Game Plus. Will you tell me about the deal now? Why, absolutely. The deal has to do with voodoo magic. Voodoo magic? Yes, I just said that. No, but I'm... Oh, you were just... Go ahead. What's that? All right, you... Okay, you talk. Ah, not again. Keep going, Mask. So if you want, I can use voodoo magic to make you stronger for a price. How much stronger? Three times, to be exact, and I'll even double your hit points as a bonus. Okay, and so what's the price? I just need a proper sacrifice. You don't happen to have a greed demon lying around, do you? I do, but... <laughs> well, you don't have to accept it, but that's the deal. Allow me to sacrifice your familiar, and I will increase your power. So, adventurer, will you take the deal? Once committed, it cannot be undone. Oh, so you're just gonna sell my soul like that? Easy, little creature. This will only take a moment. Yeah, the deal's off. I'm not taking part of any sacrifices. Excuse me, it's the deal. And once committed, cannot be undone. Now behold, as I utter the voodoo magic words. Zapper the Pret Tapas Disjendet. That's it? Yes, you can relax now. So much for the sacrifice. Indeed, little creature, as fear is voodoo energy's source, I merely needed you to believe it was the end for you. So I'm free to go? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was... Yeah, we're done here, don't bother. You've shown your true colors. I'm out. So long, next time you die will be the last. Wow, you were unreal. Do you have any idea how long it took us to convert the greed demons to our side? I'm sorry, I... No more lifelines, better put that attack boost to good use. So yeah, we, we killed the guy who canonically revives us every time. Or we thought... We made the guy who... We scared away the guy who revives us every time we die. And sheesh indeed. On the bright side, we can now basically one-shot everything in the game, including bosses. Keyword, basically. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, um... I get insane power. I get unlimited power at the cost of not being able to be revived if I die. And of course, this being New Game Plus, I'm significantly more powerful than I should be, regardless of whether or not I have the deal at this point in time. Really, there's only one- Does the game get harder for New Game Plus? Yes, actually. Though, um, the bonuses from the deal tend to offset it. Um, I believe enemies actually do more damage, but, um, on your first run, that's not really very noticeable, because 
Most enemies only did one damage to begin with and now do two. However, there is an upgrade that lets you take uh, one point reduced damage from every source. So, um, it ends up evening out. However, on subsequent New Game Plus runs, that gets significantly more noticeable. And that means sources that did do more than one, more than two damage before still do two, more than two damage now. So the game does get harder for New Game Plus. And of course, that's I added on to the fact that if I die at all, I die. In case the um, in, like in case the way I died last time isn't obvious. Really, the biggest threat here is death from environmental sources, whether that be crush damage or um, falling, like, into a bottomless pit, because those both count as instant death. Normally perfectly fine in the base game, but when you're doing a run where you can't die at all, that becomes a bit of a problem. Can you not grab walls when falling? Yes, I can. I, um, like, I'm pretty sure there are ways to prevent yourself from grabbing walls, but, uh, I'm not. I'm trying to move fast and making mistakes in the process. That's really what matters here. If I just kept a respectable distance, I could not get caught on a wall, but you know what? Who cares about keeping a respectable distance when we got a speedrun to do? Not that this has to be done as a speedrun, but it gets very annoying because I have to keep doing this every time I die. And yes, for the record, you are supposed to fall down here in the normal game. <laughs> you were wor you were worried. I can't I can't pass tense. Why can't I read? I'm gonna wait for that to go down because we saw what happened last time. But yeah, once more, if you ever feel like you're missing context on anything that happens in this game, uh, I do have the VODs from uh, the actual playthrough of the game under the uh, YouTube channel where I have the playlist for The Messenger. And the, uh, the recordings from this will go into a separate playlist for specifically playing through the deal. Ow, how rude. Yeah, I don't really have much commentary for these sections other than gotta go fast. Mostly to mitigate the potential effects of me dying again later. <laughs>
Eddie be looking different. <laughs> oh, man. Ow. That's certainly one way of putting it. At least Eddie can't get COVID. Hmm. <laughs> can't disagree. Crush, and then we move. The normal game typically is not meant to be played this quickly, but that's just kind of what New Game Plus does. Also having triple the attack strength you normally do. How rude. Bonk. We have defeated the Necromancer. Into Bamboo Creek we go. I am making relatively good time. Having items and mobility options from way later in the game makes the early game so much faster. We're just gonna ignore that guy. This is not the correct way. This, however, is. Conveniently, spikes don't kill in this game in one hit. This is not like Mega Man. They do, however, do plenty of damage. gonna take some interesting shortcuts. I 
How rude. Me and Raids are planning to test out our new internet, so if you want to play Valo with us, feel free to join. we Will do, probably right after the stream. I love doing internet stress tests. Alright, have fun with that, though. I'll see you later. Unless you're not doing that right now, in which case, uh, oof, my timing's impeccable. Not right now? Ah, fair enough. I'm so good at movement. Gotta put clothes away, fair enough. Once more through the Howling Grotto we go. Wouldn't be the first time, probably won't be the last. Well, speaking of through the Howling Grotto, we are finally at the end. And by finally, I mean it's been all of, like, what, 20 minutes since we lost the previous run? Not terrible time, to say the least. The triple damage output makes this fight, which usually takes three phases for me, take one. It's wonderful.
Playing this game quickly feels so fun. I don't know what it is about it. It is smooth. Now the best part is, is by the time we get to the next area, um, all the mobility options I've been using excessively throughout this run will be available anyway. So from there it's just that's how smooth the game is normally. <laughs> With the exception of like, the green guys typically take uh, one shot, or take three shots to defeat instead of one. But even then that's like, not too much of a slowdown. I'm not gonna lie, if the messenger wasn't as smooth as it was, I don't think I would have done a part two on this. soundtrack is a bop too. It's it's like wonderfully reminiscent of things from like the NES era. But it also has this like this sort of new groove to it that you wouldn't see back then. Granted this is also coming from someone who tends to think that the older game is the more uh, the more polished it had to be to work. Not saying games nowadays aren't polished, like, they, they are to a wonderful extent, but, like, I don't know. It's a strange bias I have. I'm a boomer. I don't know why the song sounds like the boat song for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I can kind of see it. It's a bit of a strange comparison to draw, but not one that I wouldn't understand. Another thing is, once it gets into the chorus bit, almost, uh, the faces on, like, the lanterns and various background mushrooms also start to change in time with the music, but unfortunately we have no time to think about that as I must continue. Now we are in the boss of the, uh, of the marsh, the Queen of Quills. However, we're not going to be spending much time with her. Mostly because I can just throw caution to the wind and win that way. My favorite way to win, brute force. Normally, if you, either, if you either haven't died yet, or um, are in the deal because you can't die, normally when you get there, if you have died, um, that greed demon we sacrificed earlier, uh, he comes out and just says, like, I don't know who that was. However, since we have no, none of the context of the greed demon even existing this time around, because he's not here, uh, the messenger is just incredibly confused. Thank you. 
anyway, this is the part. This is the part where we get the uh, grappling hook I've been using. Its actual name is Rope Dart, but they in-game say everybody's gonna call it the grappling hook anyway, so it's funnier to refer to that. Um, this is where we get that grappling hook I've been using, and we got the wingsuit back in the um, green underground place. So now basically everything that I've been doing for movement is feasible in the like in this point of the run. So if you if you do play quickly, you can get stuff like this done. It's great. This game is self-aware, indeed. We love seeing it. This game is great writing. If you haven't checked out the playthrough from the Wednesday streams, I would highly suggest it. It has wonderful writing. It is comedic gold. I am having a wonderful time maneuvering around these walls. It's not even difficult movement, I'm just uh, trying to do it in funny ways. And we have finally made it to the boss of the Searing Crags. This will definitely not end poorly. And with that, we win. Triple damage makes short work of literally everything in the game, with the exception of things that cannot be damaged. In the future, if I, if I have to make a part three, I might just straight up make seven save files. Well, not seven. There's only three save slots. I might just straight up make, like, all three save slots be uh, mapped to the farthest we've gotten in the run, just because I need to be able to continue from a place that doesn't require going through the entire game again. <laughs>
Granted, there's also the magic of seeing that one continuous run be played out from start to end, so I might not do that after all. guy returns, but once more we are going to just straight up ignore him. That was just awful. And we have made it to the top of the Glacial Peak. However, there is not a boss fight waiting for us here. Rather, an entirely different challenge. We hold the scroll we were given by the Western Hero aloft, and it summons. A fascinating structure. We have brought we have been brought to the Tower of Time. This is where my runs typically end, because I have no rhythm whatsoever, and being a place based on the sheer concept of time tends to rely heavily on rhythm. Just as a reminder, the kinds of things that can kill us in a single hit are things that crush us and falling into the void. Pretty standard things to get killed by as far as I'm aware.
I swear you almost got crushed. Indeed, I don't want to talk about it. Playing quickly necessitates risk. And, um, risk is one thing that I'm not very good at. Conveniently, having taken damage from the spikes there, I was not- I was not actually crushed. This is not going very well for me, is it? Alright, I may have taken significantly more damage in that segment than I would like to admit, but you know what? We worked with it. I'm definitely not almost dead. Definitely not. <laughs> Contact with one more dangerous thing definitely will not kill me. We have done it. Now we must wait for this to uh, block the lasers. I'm gonna save here, even though saving doesn't really do much in a run where dying immediately deletes your save file. I don't know how I didn't land on spikes there, but I'll take it. Also, we have received a health pickup, meaning we are fine once more. Yeah, sorry for being silent most of this run. Um, it turns out that when you don't have rhythm, uh, focus is pretty necessary for things that require rhythm. After all, I've made it to this point at least like four times in these runs already. Most of which from, uh, the previous stream. But, uh... I don't know, there, there's really not much to say about it other than, uh, this do be a bit rough sometimes. Well, we've made it to the point we started the, the stream at, because this is where I ended last time. Uh, we're just gonna fight the guys as they do the things again. I promise there's an in-game reason as to why I refer to it as doing the thing, because it's what they refer to it as. Once more with the boss fight we started this episode off with. I love cheesing boss fights like this. <sighs> Once again, triple damage really does come in handy for boss fights. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this dialogue. Yo, it's Malzahar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't disagree, he does have the whole cloak thing going on, and the whole purple color scheme too.
unfortunately, we had to kick his ass. Or fortunately, depending on who you ask. Anyways, things look different now, as through the power of the Tower of Time, we have been sent to the future. I By roughly 400 years, I think? 400 or 500, one or the other. This is indeed where today's stream went right after starting. I don't want to talk about that. Once again, crush damage and falling off the falling into a pit are both things that can immediately end our run. And inconveniently, those two things are exceptionally prevalent here. Speaking of things that are exceptionally prevalent here, we have a chase sequence with said things I can fall into and have it end poorly. Leave me alone. See you later, nerd. Alright, let us be patient this time and not die immediately. I don't know about you guys, but I like the sound of that. And thus we have already made it far than we did at the start of the stream. Or further than I did at the start of the stream. I notably do not believe that's where I'm supposed to go. This is where I'm supposed to go. Alright, we've got another chase sequence. This will not end poorly. We have escaped once more. Just gonna wait for that. Wait for this.
gather some of these, even though I have no purpose for them. And the last chase segment. Hey, Dr. Nefariously Handsome, how are you doing? We're back on the messenger doing the deal. And conveniently, I, I have beaten Hilux, so there's that. Nice. In the meantime, I still have yet to beat the deal. For various reasons, of course. It was pretty fun, you say. Good to hear. Glad you enjoyed it. In the meantime, we have completed the uh, Cloud Ruin section of the run. This is not the first time I've been here. Um, otherwise, this wouldn't be this wouldn't have been split into two parts. Back to the underworld we go. The Underworld is where my previous furthest attempt ended. It was, uh, not great. If you would like to see how it ended, go ahead and, uh, surf through the, um, surf through the VOD on either on Twitch or on my YouTube channel, which should be linked somewhere on my Twitch if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, I am close. I'm pretty much at the halfway point of the game. And with some consistently, and with some basic consistency, I've been able to somewhat consistently make it here every half an hour or so. Do you ever play Hylix? I do not believe I have. What is, what's it like? RPG, but made of clay. That sounds interesting. So, like, is it this whole, like, stop motion thing? Like, uh... Like, claymation? Hmm. I do love that style, so I might have to check it out. And as you can tell by the longest-running series on my channel so far, I do love JRPGs. Yeah, stop motion claymation. I do love stop motion claymation. That and I, of course, do love JRPGs. I've heard some call the sequel better. Hmm. Guess I'll have to check both of them out then, won't I?
trailers for them are dope. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be sure to check it out after the stream. High looks, you said? I am certainly intrigued. Well, this will decide what this will decide the progress of our run. This is further than we've made it so far, and we have our match against Barmathazel. Here's a leak since it's a bit obscure, you say. What platforms is it on? Uh, if I may ask. Either way, we have defeated Barmathazel and have successfully managed to make it further in this run than I have in the past. I really need to figure out how to readjust my chat filters because uh, having the default ones from Twitch makes it a bit difficult. I don't think links can be posted, but um, yeah, I'll check. I'll definitely check it out once I get the opportunity after this stream. The claymation RPG sounds wonderful. You will whisper it to me. Who knows, maybe one day I'll promote it on my uh, Monday streams. Hello again, Mask, how are you? Who is Zeus's favorite boxer? I don't know. Mike Tyson! This one is actually pretty good, you say. Anyways, other than that, we must continue the plot. However, since this is uh, meant to be a relatively quick run, I will not be actually reading any of this, as this has been covered previously on the uh, Wednesday stream. Oh, so the mask is pop culture type of comedian. Indeed. That, and he's also the person who uh, gave us this ridiculous power for the deal. It's wonderful. I, um, I get double the health and triple the damage, but, uh, if I die once, the run ends. By that, I mean insufferable. Indeed. My favorite kind of comedian. If I'm not physically, if I'm not physically injured by a joke, then it does not have the same sort of presence as ones that are not physically injuring me. He did the runs, but never talked to him. Understandable. I'm not gonna lie, I never actually bothered completing the mask before doing the messenger on stream. So, uh, finding out about that, it was certainly interesting. There's one note in particular here that scares me, and that's the one for the, uh, uh from the abyss. Or the void, or whatever. Ah, fine, I'll speak to you, messenger. Or prophet. Abyss, abyss is really simple, just hook all the time. This is true. 
However, uh, my timing is not great, and if I hook at the wrong time, uh, chances are I'll not recover from it. <laughs> now to admit that I don't remember where most of these notes actually are. Pay the guy to mark them on your map. Indeed, that's precisely what I'm about to do. I need to see the prophecy itself first, don't I? I think that's how that goes. Tall guy sells the hints. Yeah, I think what it is, I need to talk to him for the prophecy, and then I can find out where it is from the shopkeeper. That's what it is, I think. Yeah, hint. Alright, yeah, that's significantly easier to work with. Now I went ahead and manually found these all, all on my own during the uh, Wednesday stream and also during my first playthrough of the game. But when my literal life is on the line, at least in the context of the video game, I would like every bit of support I can get, personally. I like they made you it, just able to look it up. It is very nice. I hate being like cluelessly lost in a video game, so the fact that this is here is so nice. So I just need to go left. Yep, just keep going left. Rude. that. Come over here, if I'm not mistaken. Go through that. This is going significantly more smoothly than I had imagined. To be fair, I didn't imagine this going very smoothly at all, though, so...
All right, there's the first note. Pretty nice, I must say. So the next one it'll direct me to is going to be the uh, one from the Searing Crags, it seems. So I'm just going to go make my way back to the teleporter. Actually, where's the... Yeah, this is the fastest way back. Alright, so I just need to get back to Glacial Peak, and, um, not Glacial Peak, Searing Crags. It really is a very nice ability to just look it up. I think I want to get there from the grotto. Don't you need that seed or something? Yes! Uh... For, actually, I already have the Candle of True Sight, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I do have the Ordinary Wax Candle. Because I, um... That's the thing I carried over for New Game Plus. So I don't I don't need the candle for the uh, grove at the very least. What I do need is to change the time real quick. Yeah, so I, I head there in the future to get the uh, to get the thistle. Then I head back there from the past and uh, have fun. I just need to get through this place as normal till I get to the crags. go once more. You know, maybe the marsh wasn't the fastest way to find this upon closer examination. Ow, how rude. Nothing useful for me down here, I don't think. I think there was something here for me. I think.
Oh, this is where I get the conch from. As for why I already have it, I have no idea. Yeah, going through the marsh with this like this definitely was not the way I was supposed to go, I don't think. Oh well. As long as I get through here alive, it won't matter in the end really, will it? Good thing I picked up that health pickup. not get crushed by something as embarrassing as a door. I'm still not 100% sure why I chose to go this way instead of through the catacombs, but you know what, we'll work with it. Or no, it's not the catacombs, it's Bamboo Creek, I think. back a bit, then I jump across. We're gonna go ahead and enter the Searing Crags. to get through, isn't it?
This is definitely not where I want to go. As this progresses, this gets progressively more stressful, too. Times like this that I re that I really miss Corbel. Now that I think about it, first things first, I want to unlock this uh, teleporter again. Not again, but you know what I mean. Just unlock it to begin with. And this was to Bamboo Grove, I think? No, this is out of the marsh. Where in the marsh is this? This is almost certainly not somewhere I need to be right now. I'm just gonna go back. I'll get the I'll get the Colossus's notes first, I think. Now we ascend to this room. Please don't lose all my progress. There we go. Off to see the Colossus as we go again. Grab the Power Thistle. I can fall through that, right. You know, just to descend to the bottom of this room with relative safety. 
as in I'm still alive. Really the only state of safety that matters. Not room. Across we go. Give the thistle to the colossi. Now we can go ahead and continue with our note collection. this room. Alright, that's the second note. Well, I guess technically fourth, because there are two to begin with. Either way. Second note we've gathered. that, I'm going to go ahead and let the game pick which note for me to get next. Alright, it wants me to go to the catacombs. This is going to be the one for the Riviera Turquoise, isn't it? Or no, this is going to be for um, Ruxton's staff. And to get there quickly, I believe I want to go through Autumn Hills. In particular, that southern entrance there somewhere. You know, I'm just going to stop trying to go for that shortcut. Yes, this is the one. Alright, we just need to go pick up Ruxton's staff.
This is not the entrance I was thinking of. This is for the for the river turquoise. I might as well get that teleporter while I'm at it, I think. It's notably not... I don't know where I'm going. Why am I even bothering to go this way? I should really should just grab the staff and leave. <laughs> and grab the healing that's up here. If I'm not mistaken, this is the way into the Riviera Turquoise, which I might actually want to do first, because that teleporter would be very nice to have. I already do have the candle. I'm primarily just making sure I don't have to do this again. Or do this later. Into the, into the turquoise river we go. I'm gonna wait for the next log. There we go. that teleporter obtained, um, we're gonna go into the grotto, I think? There has to be a faster way to the catacomb somewhere. Now I might just unironically be completing catacombs as normal. There 
we go. Gonna go through here again normally till we reach the end of the catacombs normally. to the Forlorn Temple I go, mostly so I can use this entrance to the catacombs. What's down here again? Yes. Nice climb. Here I am, back at my other entrance to the catacombs. I have not routed this out very well, in case it is not obvious. focus on my actual objective instead of getting the river teleporter. I don't know why I grabbed that, I was already at full health anyway.
Ah, how rude. Good thing blunt force trauma is not as equivalent to crushing force. Uh, take that down slowly. We find Ruxton's uh, final resting place as well as his amulet. And now, uh, I believe the next closest thing for us to do would be find the uh, faux pin here. Just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and uh, purchase that hint. Alright, that's a pretty decent ways away from here, but you know what? We can work with it. Come on. How rude. Chances there. Unfortunate. Don't do this to me! Ah. Uh. Alright, let's try that again. And not get knocked off this time. <sighs> that was, uh, dangerous to say the least. Granted, pretty much everything in this context is pretty dangerous. So here we go ahead and rescue one of those Phobkins. That has crush damage, if I'm not mistaken. Huh. <sighs> this is so dangerous.
This is where we find Claustro, I think. Hello, Claustro. See you later, bud. The next prophecy it recommends is, uh... This is where I need to take Ruxton's staff to Sky Temple, isn't it? Or Cloud Ruins, whatever it's called. I think you all understand how much I'm sweating right now. One, it's summer and it's hot. Two, I am terrified. Just for various reasons, this is a... This is a fascinating run. We're just gonna go ahead and go straight to the... Uh, glacier Peak. Glacial Peak. I remember what this place is called. Hello, Ruxton staff. Yes, we shall get you out of this cold, pal. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad you like it up here. However, we have our own things to take care of here. collect some time shards because we kind of need those now for hints. Mostly because I don't trust myself giving... I don't want to talk about it. Oh man. The deal is perhaps one of the strangest runs I've ever had in a video game because it's like an intoxicating sense of power and just stress and just all mixes up and makes normal judgment basically impossible. <laughs> That was a very good example of that. I do think bringing along a wax candle was a good idea, though. Well. He's gonna give this one more shot. Oh well. Not exactly like I'm a professional speedrunner here. disheartening just having gone that far and still having it in there. <laughs> I think 
since it has been demonstrated on stream that I can go that far, um, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna get three, I'm gonna get all three save files for next time prepared to have, uh, just the Metroidvania section. Like, I'm gonna beat Barmathazel on three separate save files, since that's the max I can have. And, um, go from there, I think. Th at this point, there's not much point in testing me on the Ninja Gaiden section, I don't think. The Metroidvania section is really what matters. Now, at least. So we're gonna go ahead and accept the deal again. Alright, Corbel. I'm sorry. Man, after so much progress, too. Just a bit disheartening. this. There we go. I still love this game, though. Man, I'm still embarrassed about how that ended. I got so far. Just to lose it there. Got Leaf Monster again. Perfectly normal. Easy clear.
into the catacombs once more. Snap Necro out of it real quick. Ruxton's gonna go ahead and summon his minions. We shall make short work of them. Now through various threatening obstacles we go. That is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. I was very slightly off in my timing. The deal did not work out for me, thank you for asking. <laughs> that is painful. That is so painful. Alright, I think this is going to be the last run for today, regardless of how far it goes. more with feeling. Once more with the deal. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Thank you. 
All right. Get across this gap. Once more through Autumn Hills. Which I must say, it is truly a great starting level, I think. After having played the game for this... After having played the Messenger for this long on stream... What has it been like? Uh, let's see. There's like... 15 hours, like 20 hours, I think, by now. Even after 20 hours, this game isn't getting old. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just very well crafted. Everything feels so smooth and natural. It's really fun to play quickly, I will say that. Especially when you actually know what you're doing, unlike me. Like, that ascent right there, that was a pretty good ascent, I'll give you that. I messed it up at the end. How far did you get? I collected two of the eight notes required for the, uh, final level to unlock. In the second half of the game. It was a bit unfortunate. I was like, a third of the- or I was like two-thirds of the way into the game. But unfortunately, all things must come to an end. <sighs> On the bright side, the first half of the game is super quick. I'll give it that. into the catacombs once more. Hello, Necro. How are you doing? He is no longer terrified. Ow. Ow. Whew! That would have been very embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, I definitely didn't die in the catacombs during the third run of the day, definitely not. After all, we saw how far the second run went. I forgot this was an arena room, even though I literally did this earlier today. I love using rope dart to bypass things. It's so nice. Ow. We must schmooze. Thank you. 
get out of here. Hello again, Ruxton. For another arena room. Once more. Chase segment. that to crush and then go. Off to fight Ruxton once more. I love such quick takedowns of boss fights. It's so nice. Alright, off to Bamboo Creek. just embarrassing. You know, I think we're going to call it here for today. I've proven that I can make it to the Metroidvania section at the very least, and uh, it is so hot that I'm not going to lie, my processes are slowing down. This is a bit of a shorter stream today, but you know what, I, I don't think we necessarily need it to be any longer than that. Um, especially because it will not I will not be making it any further than I did for the second run of the day. So with that, thank you all for watching, and um, I'm going to go ahead and I've updated the schedule to show that Hollow Knight will be on Wednesdays. Monday will still be Tales of Symphonia, because we're uh, not done with that yet. Friday, I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, save files for the Messenger set up to be the Metroidvania section for the, for the deal so that I can sort of start from the halfway point instead of going all the way through from the start. And yeah, that should be it for the day. Saturday's whatever my friends want to do. Monday's Symphony again. Um, Wednesday we'll be doing Hollow Knight, but for real this time, instead of just the Trial of the Fool. And yeah, Friday we're going to be right back for this. I shall see you all later, and thank you for watching.